Visitors to Bournemouth Gardens will today be greeted by a fully interactive arts exhibition entitled Cradle. Cradle has been set up by second year fine art students from the Arts Institute of Bournemouth, eager to showpiece their interesting works. We need to get a point across in some way and we all have fantastic work and it is very hard, especially at our level and our age, to get the work out there and something like this is such a fantastic opportunity to do so. I wanted to, I wanted to amuse public on the, on the one half and uh, Maybe on the other half I wanted to kind of shake them. Cradle has also seen a big reaction from the public. The students have always uh, sometimes got a bad sort of image with, uh, with the older people and that. And just being in somewhere like this where everyone's walking through and seeing what you're doing is really good. Art is all around us in nature anyway. So to see it in such a beautiful space, I mean with the cherry blossoms, you know, an artist couldn't do better than that. Lead artists Zoe Sinclair and Andrea Blood reveal more. We've got a lot of experience in uh, putting on shows um, and in terms of marketing and getting a bit of a buzz uh, surrounding it like an opening. With summer fast approaching, Crater was beginning to capture the imagination of tourists visiting Bournemouth Gardens. The artists have been on hand to answer any questions of interested locals on many of the eye-catching exhibits. Crater will continue to showpiece its works for the remainder of the week. I'm Adam Paris-Long, this is iNews.